I'm Clark Boone, Central Regional Sales Manager for Cobalt Boats. On behalf of 700 associates at Cobalt Boats, we want to introduce the new R6 Bowrider. This is one of three versions of the R6 platform or products. We also have the R6 Outboard and also the R6 Surf Boat. So let's get started and talk more details about this boat. It's 8 foot 6 inch beam, has a lot of versatility, the ride and handling with our new generation hull design accompanied with a lot of components that we're going to put together today. This makes for a perfect package in this 26 foot range. Let's talk about the new exterior graphics of the R6 Bowrider. We have four areas of gel coat that we can choose from. The hull side, the platform with extensions on the side, and then also the waterline or what we call the boot stripe, and then the hull bottom. So the, those four areas we can customize our gel coat graphics and use three colors to do that. Also some of the components, the bow scuff plate that we've used before, great innovation uh, by Cobalt Boats, along with our anchor windlass system, which is an option on this model. Sucks up from the hull design versus a davit over the deck. Much more cosmetic and, and, and smooth lines. So also with the exterior is our new eight inch cleat design, as well as our fender clips are now standard equipment. So up in the bow of this R6, we've got some new components, some new features and upgrades. So first of all, the armrest, which is a real nice for ergonomics for your passengers here, right? As far as the storage unit, very accessible, open, hands-free, which is a real nice touch. Same on port side, all hinges, all stainless steel, very wide opening, very accessible to get into. The diamond stitching, diamond pattern stitching is a nice touch this year for the R6 along with the dual 12 volt chargers for your cell phones, USB ports. Up in the bow, more storage here, very accessible. Anchor locker, all hands free again, metal components, gas spring for hands free, very nice touch and then the new cleat design. One of my favorite is the new bow storage area. Handle a large cooler or a lot of gear down below. This is almost about a foot and a half deep by two foot long. So a lot of gear and a great spot for a cooler up here in your bow. For the new R6, the standard equipment is this high polished stainless steel windshield frame. Just really sets our windshield apart from any others, along with the solid stainless steel braces versus aluminum poles other manufacturers use. This is very sturdy, extremely strong. Also, what's a great feature here is the three storage in the floor, forward, mid-berth, and aft right here. So we have full access to storage in the floor. And then also the walk-through door, which is a great feature, all stainless steel equipment. There's a lot of new features and upgrades to this new E2 tower. Let's go through one by one. First, solid mount for your board rack storage. Also, nice RGB integration into the base. This new design E2 tower also folds down manual or electric. Let's take a look. Notice on this E2 arch is how low it is. We do a much better job having garage clearance on this arch, make it much lower in, the, in this position. We moved our speakers more outboard, but probably the biggest thing we, we've done is actually raise the height by five inches. It gives us much more headroom clearance. And then standard equipment, part of this E2 package is your color match bimini top. Also, as an option to this E2 arch, is your rotating sunshade. As the tower comes down, this articulates forward and flat, which is a nice option. A couple new features for options for extra shade in this R6 is the bow shade sail 
and also when you get the rotating sunshade arch and top, you also have the availability of an aft shade cell. This new R6 has a great new design at Helm Station. A lot of visibility. Standard equipment on the dash is the Garmin glass cockpit, seven inches. But also, boat shown here is with the 10 inch Garmin's, the 8610 model. Just a lot of display, very good visibility, and centered around a great steering wheel. A lot of mass here, stainless steel, the nice embossed sea wreath for cobalt dash layout, the switches, 12 switches total, all integrated, backlit at night for great visibility. Just a lot of good engine function and telemetry right here at your fingertips. Navigation functions right here as far as your GPS and also your XM weather option. So a lot of great features, tilt wheel. And then my favorite is the cell phone charging station. With this new helm station, we paid close attention to the ergonomics here at the side panel and throttle position. You see we've got a double elbow pad for high or low. For, makes for great ergonomics with the throttle. This Volvo EVC vessel control does a great job eliminating all the cables. All fly-by-wire, which is extremely smooth and quiet. Really close at hand are your cruise control and your trim assist buttons to engage in those features. So really makes for a great package. And then the nice safety feature is your lanyard stop. Just another great safety feature by Volvo. To top off all the great ergonomics of this new helm station on the R6 is one of my favorite features. New for this year is the optional power seat. It does two things. One, raises and lowers six inches, but also forward to aft six inches. So really able to customize your view and your ergonomics for your personal use. Part of this new helm station is your stereo controls. Very handy, right up here, LCD color screen, very nice, so it's a very good upgraded head unit. So standard equipment is our JL speakers, six speakers total versus four in other competitive products. Our premium package includes the JL equipment, the JL speakers, also we add an amplifier and also a subwoofer. Remember your tire speaker options as well. Our ultimate stereo control package is our Platinum Audio. That incorporates the head unit as well as the all Roswell equipment, amps, subwoofers. We do a 10 inch enclosed subwoofer along with a 12 inch exposed subwoofer. Upgrade all of our size bow speakers cockpit speakers and transom speakers to 8 inch versus 6 inch. So a lot of upgrades and don't forget your Roswell R1 Pro speakers for the towers. Part of this new cockpit layout is the standard head compartment. What we've done to improve this area, several things. One, we moved the hinge point around to the side so we have a nice wide opening to this area as far as accessibility, porta potty standard equipment, and your upgrade is your pump out porta potty or your electric porcelain head. Another great feature option, and it's not included on this boat, but is a great option is the sink console and portal light. Gives you much more visibility in, much more light coming into this area. So, overall, just a great compartment. A lot of nice textile features here on the wall for wall treatments and then also down the in the floor with seagrass. This cockpit area gives us exceptional width, but also in the length of this boat. Four new options for colors of our interiors this year. Frost Summit, Frost Slate, Cocoa Summit, and Caramel and Carbon. This boat has the Frost Summit interior, gives us white seats, light gray accents, which makes for a great look in this interior. We have three choices in our floor treatments. The snap-in carpet, 40 ounce carpet, which is a real nice high plush carpet. And also we have our seagrass carpet. The seagrass option is actually upgraded with backing on the back, very, very durable on the back, but also a new pattern on the front. 
new colors this year in the gray family and the brown family. And then also up underneath your snap out carpet and your snap out seagrass mats are non-skid in the fiberglass. So our third option is actually marine mat, which is actually glued down. Again, two colors to choose from with black outlines in the mat. So just a great choice of three carpet, seagrass, and then your uh, mat. For this passenger seat backrest, extra wide, two position, but also we have a nice storage unit here as well. Very deep storage and our flip lip design also. The port side storage seat, all hands free, which is really nice. This exposes a very deep storage, almost three feet deep with some drip dry lining. And it also exposes our, our distribution panel for easy maintenance and the ACR battery switch, which is really nice. Fire extinguisher, trash receptacle, and again, all hands free that makes this very easy accessible. This new aft lounge area has a lot of features we want to go through. One, the two position backrest, really nice oversized in the width, but also two positions, which locks into place, which is a real nice feature. Handrail up top, very easy to get to and accessibility, nice wide walkthrough transom. And then also remember your versatility of your rumble seat, which is a real nice feature for water sports. This new cockpit layout has a lot of great features to it. One, the nice wide walkthrough area from the transom, but also I want to show you this is our fourth, fourth floor storage. We have three up front, and then also this is a great walkthrough storage area, hands-free, energy seal, and also metal components to lock. So it makes for a great, a great feature in this wide walkthrough area. Also a nice hard step getting in and getting out of the boat from the dock. Another great feature of this cockpit design is the starboard storage area and ice chest. Again, all hands free, which is nice, hinged properly, very smooth surface. And it comes standard with the ice chest, 48 quart ice chest. Bring in from your kitchen, loaded, drops right in. You're ready to go boating. This engine compartment design is all one piece, which is really nice as far as entry and, and exit to the motor box. You can see it's all gas springs, oversized hinges, which is really nice, high polished. You notice the energy seal all the way around the parameter of this. Also has a dam here, an air dam, noise dam, to help keep this decibel level down to a minimum, which is really nice feature. You can see all the accessibility storage, very easy to get into, very easy to service the engine, but just an overall really nice piece, all finished off on the bottom, very nice and clean. Remember on our interior options, we have new dark colors, which is really nice because it gives us a lot of variety. But also the Fresco Chill vinyl keeps the temperature down, surface temperature down on these vinyls, 15 to 20 degrees. So it makes for a great combination as far as different colors to choose from, but also keeps that temperature down on those warm days. Let's walk right into some other features of this platform transom area. Your 110 plug-in, which is real nice for your charger, your stereo remote control, your extra three cup holders here on this side, which is really nice, your fender clips, which are standard equipment, and our new colorful badge here on the transom, our R6 badge, backlights at night, real nice colorful piece, and a nice jewelry piece, very substantial part. Also notice the full beam platform, which is very nice, eight foot six beam, full width, as far as entering and exiting the dock, does a great job for us there, so a nice improvement in that area as well. Also houses are great swim step, patent swim step, all stainless steel fittings, all of our marine mat, diamond plating that's also throughout our interiors. This makes for a great comfort. The additional marine mat here in this step, in this area, and our nice logo to go along with it. So just an overall great improvement here in the platform. So this new generation R6 brings a lot of components, a lot of features, and a lot of great upgrade options 
So if you have any questions about the new R6 platform or products, the R6 outboard, the Surf, and this bow rider, come see us at CobaltBoats.com or your local authorized Cobalt dealer. Those guys are experts at what they do. They can answer any further questions you might have about the new product. Thank you. Thank you.